All right, welcome back to Following Live for May. This month we're following up the E-mini DAO 90 minute and the Euro 90 minute and we will tackle how about the Aussie yen currency and we'll look at copper futures. How about that? All right, so let's do this. So I want to some reminders we're just following these markets this segment is for learning to follow markets with a very simple basic method following swings a new swing high confirms a low and I've done several blogs on this we make a distinction of major and minor even though these are both swings one's minor one's major the biggest reaction leg is in your frame is what's going to be classified as major and we're going to follow markets up and down and I want to remind everybody you know why I call this following because it's about following it's never about the method no matter what method you're using all methods are about bringing you to some place where you can be present with price rather than acting reacting emotionally to price and markets bring up a lot of emotion so please understand my point here the method serves you getting to some place where you have some clarity that you can make decisions often my trades might have nothing to do with the method what I'm trying to say is don't treat the methods as some sort of dead setup often my trades will have nothing to do with the method but using something simple and focused will bring a, a clarity means I'm following price I'm not telling price what to do I'm listening to price rather than telling price what I want because price don't care what I want actually not many people do you know when you look at it so that's what this is about a method to, a simple method to bring some clarity so the month before we easily followed these markets down in the in the in the heat of the storm here and saw them swap and change. You see, just feel it. Actual buyers and sellers, 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 swap. Okay, I'm just adding a little box here. You can predict it's going to turn all you want. You can use stuff back here to predict it's going to turn, whatever you want. But this is actually showing when it does turn. And so, this simple method is designed to let you focus on something and then have price teach you all sorts of things. You can create what you want from this. But let's let's just follow it up and see what this market did. So the market came and all you're going to do is price moves. Anytime it pivots, you're going to look and project it and you're going to notice it doesn't have to make it it doesn't have to hold it it does nothing but you're going to notice what does it do ah in this case it turns before it what does that tell us actually that tells us price is eager and you'll see this often see this is a rhythm everybody should get familiar with especially after a big drop price starts making swings on the way up and they start making littler swings and littler swings and littler swings it's a sign that these guys are really coming after this thing right? it's a sign of momentum and you know of course eventually we will swing but understand this kind of rhythm get in it into your bones as a trader you'll see it often you know you start out and that's what it's doing it's making one big swing here little swing little swing it's scrunching it's scrunching into like a little funnel here all right so let's see what it did now once you get a new high we can also look at this next level of swing and measure it so we want to get a handle so whenever we get these guys turning at the same level, it's showing you some sort of agendas in place. 
the craziness is kind of over for the moment and now there's some sort of continued behavior some sort of agendas going on they're actually turning that's current now they're actually turning at this this swing and so that's information you can see when you draw median lines it shows you the turn and you can draw from here doo -doo -doo -doo. Or you can draw from the prior swing. So let's draw from the prior swing and look at this current map with a modified shift. So that's my current map. And you know, begin to notice, get curious. You know, I'm teaching swings, but also get curious. See what I did here where it swapped and you feel them boom, boom, boom. On a bigger level, it did the same thing. See this? Sellers, sellers, sellers cannot make a new low and swap um, on some of the more advanced swing work that's going to make this your next major swing one day maybe all right so that's the YM let's have a look at the euro so we're going to review the euro then we'll go to our new ones so where do we leave the euro off here okay what we were looking at was something like that major and then we're watching these guys these as it turns we're watching this set of swings so let's see what the euro did the euro was interesting and so anytime it anytime it turns you know you're going to follow it see what it does nope so it's stretching this blue swing you got to give it a little lee room to stretch but it looks like it tried to pretty much held the blue swing. You know, if I was drawing, I'd be you know, drawing like this. All right, so now that it's turned down, this is a good market. Now that it's turned down, what you're going to look at, see, let's uncomplicate it with the blue for a minute. And let's just make this our frame. I want everybody to see this. Price going up. I stopped going up it's turned so now we want to follow it back down see if I drew a line from here to here it's turned so now I want to follow it back down and this is what we call our last swing broke this was in the mapping the markets lessons we'll do that guy like that and then notice it makes a swing here so we're going to follow it follow it down so anytime it pivots makes a new low makes a new low and what I want you to see here is that this thing is just making making a wave that's it just down it's making a wave and they're doing it at about the same clip that gives us an orientation and any time it pivots, you get cur ah, about the same size. And we follow it. And each time it pivots at a new low, ah, about this. No, that's changed. It wants to go the other way. So just like we did here, we're going to use this as a swing and now follow it back up. This is a nice complicated market up and down up and down up and down and it's good that we see this every time frame every instrument will do this at some point and it's great learning okay so now it's going up and we follow it and we follow it see I'm keeping it really simple here I'm just following it I'm not worried about what's over here and we have another turn. This market is turning quite often. So notice it has stalled. It beat this guy. If you drew a line, it's looking like this. See? And say, ah, we're not doing that anymore. We're just not doing that anymore same thing if I drew a line from these last two swings 
see what it's telling me we're not going down anymore we're going up okay we're going up and that ain't doing that anymore so now we follow it down and every time this guy pivots oh, that's current so we'll see this was a nice tricky market everybody get used to this so whenever swings start quit change start quit change start, you're in a big range see this that's what it's telling you and learn to understand that and this guy's gonna come popping out of this range one day and start making nice swings so whenever you start to see a lot of switching and swapping that's what that is alright now let's look at our next two markets we're going to look at for currencies we'll look at Aussie yen and for futures I got copper on my mind let's start with copper so this is what we're going to follow this month that's gold copper and we'll look at 90 minute that's just some notes to a student okay copper 90 minute let's have a look at this let's make it simple if we make too big of a frame we have a lot to take in so let's just actually make our frame that okay I think that's current yeah we'll just make our frame this and we'll follow find your swing map it boom boom that's it you're done you know you learn see this is the beauty of price I want you guys to learn this price does this all the time boom boom little bitty swings little bitty swings ah expansion that's how a swing expands and grows into that bigger swing it happens every market every day every time frame that's the whole pushing type 2 type 3 so if that's going to be our major swing we're going to take the reaction leg easy as we follow this up we don't have much other than these little guys but let's look at the biggest one on the way up we can see there's there's a bit of an agenda going on in these guys they're doing it at the exact I mean this is telling you they really like this market they're doing somebody's hitting it at this exact same place over and over and we're actually gonna see but don't forget these little swings turn into eventually a big swing so that's our very simple map we'll take a picture of that of copper futures 90 minute and we'll watch this guy it looks like it's swinging nice for our currency let's look at a 90 minute Aussie yen. I don't want to take in too much data for a frame. How about we do this? Because one of the things I find with traders, you start looking at this much. You can. I've taught you how to map markets. If you start looking at this much, you can map markets, right? big swings. But we we tend to get lost in too many big little big little big little big little. As a technique, let's make this real simple. This is a technique you can. You can always do, by the way. Let's just take it from here. So from here, what we're going to see is this is our only major swing. There's hardly anything to draw here for little swings, but this is our only major swing. Why? Because it made a new high, confirms the low. Now, what we could do is mark this, all right, and mark this. So this is going to be our frame. We're going to mark that and that meaning. We don't know if this is going to make a new high. We don't know if this is going to make a new low. So price is in this position now, right here. Okay, we don't know if it's going to make a new high, it's going to make a new low. If it makes a new low, then that becomes our swing. If it makes a new 
high, then that becomes our confirmed swing. So for instance, if price takes off and makes a new high, then this will become our major reaction leg. Okay? If price comes up here and makes a new low, then this will become our major reaction leg. So we're going to let price carve it out for us. But as we speak, this is what we have in copper. All right, so enjoy, stay safe, and we'll follow this up next month.